so uh, we went to the thrift store and we had a very sad day at the thrift store. We only got one thing and that was this box. It was like three bucks after the sale. Uh, always check your, your, um, your thrift stores because usually they have a day where everything is 25% off or more. Uh, so ours is Monday. So if you go on Mondays, you can you can get stuff cheaper. So anyways, this was an old uh, Box that uh, candles came in for a store or something and So I thought it was kind of cute and I could do something with it. So what I decided was I want to do a uh, something to hold my paper plates in and so I'm gonna show you how that's all gonna unfold. But what I did was I got this little piece uh, from uh, Joanne's Fabric and you can just buy uh, pieces of wood. It was just easier for me. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna measure from here to here and uh, I'm going to cut this piece of wood. So uh, you can see I marked the inside of the box here because I'm going to put that piece of wood on the inside. So then I'm going to take my uh, speed square. These are really great for just making straight lines. So I'm going to go ahead and mark that off and then we're going to go outside. We're going to cut this. I have a little baby miter saw. It's a seven inch miter saw. I got it for Four, what it, 40 bucks on uh, Facebook Marketplace. So I'm gonna go cut this piece of wood and then that piece of wood is actually going to go on the inside of this box and we're gonna glue it in there and then we're gonna decorate the box. All right, so now we've got our little piece of wood cut and it fits perfectly down in here, just like that. So uh, what we're gonna do is use some wood glue and we are going to go ahead and glue this. Uh, wood glue is very, very strong. Um, so that works, right? Uh, we do need a rag as well. Let me, yeah, we got a rag. Okay, so I am, let's see. I'm gonna put this in here. You don't need a lot for wood glue to work. And you always want to make sure that you get the excess off. Let's get this in here perfectly. And then just wet that just a little bit and get the excess glue off. So we're gonna let that sit for a couple of hours. And then what we're going to do is we're going to paint this whole box white and then we're gonna paint it black. So I'm just gonna do white spray paint and then black spray paint. And that'll give it uh, a little bit of uh, dimension when I'm uh, sanding it a little bit. And then uh, I'm thinking about putting some hooks on here for dish towels as well. And then I have a little surprise that we're gonna put underneath here. And I'm gonna show you what I did with something, uh, one of my old tools that I had in the kitchen. So. Uh, hopefully it'll be pretty cute, but uh, we'll get started in just a little bit. I'm just going to let this set for a while and we'll come back in a minute. Hey everybody, it's Melissa and we are going to finish up our project. So uh, what we did outside was paint this white and then we uh, painted it black. And then I added a, a coat of clear coat matte spray so that my design didn't bleed through the wood. And then uh, we are going to chalk this and then I'm gonna show you what we're gonna do with it. So I am using a country 
kitchen stencil and we're going to go ahead and fuzz this. We put this over a towel so our design isn't too sticky. If it's too sticky, it'll uh, ruin your transfer and possibly your design. So we just fuzz that just a little bit. We are going to center this guy and just use the top portion of this stencil. That looks even to me. We're going to use grayish today. It is a really light gray color. Just love how smooth that paste is. Alright, set that aside. Go ahead and pull up our transfer. That looks great. Okay, we're going to dry this really quick. show you what I had and uh, you'll see what I'm, I'm doing here so again we started out with this box but uh, I had these two things and this is actually this had hooks on it right here and this is actually a paper towel holder it's a magnetic paper towel holder uh, really thick magnets on the back I got this off of Amazon uh, but what we're going to do is create a paper plate holder that is going to attach to uh, my fridge okay so it's actually going to go like this and attach directly to my fridge okay and it's really really strong so it's gonna hold it really really well so what we're gonna do is go ahead and um, glue these to the bottom and then I'll be able to show you what it looks like but this is literally the last step of our project here try to get these nice and even So I'll let this dry for about an hour, and then I'll go ahead and set this up and show you what it looks like. I wanted my paper plates off the counter and something super cute, and this was it. So I'm very excited about it. That is it. We're going to let it dry and then I will show you our finished little project. <laughs> 